Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. Wife had a affair is already ready to move new guy into our home. Need support. Incept my wife told me she wanted a divorce on FB Messenger. Then blocked and deleted all of our conversations. We had grown distant recently but I thought it had to do with the failure of us doing IVF and her losing 7 kids total in our 13 years together. She has infertility. I never thought it was a divorce or that she would cheat and change completely who she is. She tried to get me to leave our house but being on the deed and having no family to go to wasn't an option. So she falsely accused me of her being afraid of me and got a temporary restraining order. I have never touched her or any women in a way they did not approve of. After hiring a lawyer and having proof of her telling a friend that she knew I wouldn't ever hurt her I got back in my house. Also she did not lie on the stand and told the judge I had not even pushed her in our 13 years together. In the time I was homeless about two weeks she had sex with her new guy in our bed several times. She considers it not cheating because she had filed for divorce. Even though she had been emotionally cheating with him for months. Found out she wanted to file a month before but was having a remodel at her store and didn't want to deal with both at same time. So she manipulated me for over a month and even asked me to get a new job and get on antidepressants. I did all these thinking if this will make her happy I'm willing to do anything. She's still having the affair and openly posts it on FB proudly. We're at the end of our divorce negotiations and I have to find a place to live in the next month. She gets to keep our dogs and I lose her. Yes I'm getting some money but I'd rather have my wife and my home dog's life. She is also just basically swapping the new guy in for me. He's moving in as soon as I move out. I'm struggling to maintain the will to keep going. I'm a recovering alcoholic also so it has been even harder not to drink these past few months. What I don't understand is how she could do all this to me with no guilt, no remorse. She doesn't seem to care how much she hurts or destroys me. She won't even admit she cheated she just says I didn't have sex till after I filed. So the months of chatting and flirting weren't cheating. She had someone lined up the day she told me of divorce how is that not cheating? She used to be totally against cheating. We'd both been cheated on before and I made it clear to each other we wouldn't do that. We talked to each other first. I'm at a loss. I just turned 40. The woman I thought was my forever is a completely different person now. She's evil and seems to only want to hurt me now. Yet still daily asks for my help with things. She said she was sick on our anniversary so I took care of her all day thinking that she won't see that guy today. Nope left at night and went to see him after I spent all day taking care of her. I just don't understand that she can have no remorse, no guilt, no compassion at least for what she's done to me. Not just me, our whole family. She has lost my daughter, her stepdaughter's respect and their relationship is forever changed if there even will be one tired of fighting every day when I just wanna give up. Stay sober brother. Stay close to those who help keep you sober. Things very rarely work out the way we want them to. But they do work out the way they were supposed to. You want your wife back but she is gone. The woman who has replaced her is a broken human and is not your wife. Focus on yourself and your own spirituality, love yourself. Good luck. I'm so sorry you are going through this. Your ex-wife has moved on, you should too. She doesn't have any remorse, she is full of entitlement. She is doing everything because she gave herself permission to do it. She's a narcissist and she has no empathy. Never had. Your feelings are the least of her concerns. At best, you're a mild inconvenience in her plans. My advice is to stop expecting any humility or remorse from her. She has always been this evil cruel person. You're just seeing it now. Sending hugs. You're not getting it back dude. She is literally bragging about banging another guy publicly. All you can do now is move on and improve yourself for nobody else but you and your daughter. It sucks but is what it is. 
Go to a therapist, help your daughter, and for the love of God don't drink. I'm recovering myself and it is an easy solution but there is a reason you decided to put the bottle down. Find a place to stay man. A proven cheater and liar said that she didn't have sex until she filed and you believe her? No dude, these things are not like that, they were having sex much earlier than you think. Why are you still doing her a favor? She has done you more harm than anyone else in your life. Stop doing the pick me dance, it never works, on the contrary, it makes you look weak and very unattractive. Respect yourself, cut all contact with her, implement grey rock and 180. BTW, I don't understand, why do you have to move out of the house and not her? An emotional affair is still cheating. Block her on everything and don't look back. Leave her where she is and block her from your life. Focus on yourself and your sobriety. You deserve better. Look up covered narc and get some really nasty ass lawyers. Sure sounds like one. Just like my STBXW. Since she made a false accusation you might want to start recording all your interactions with her or just go North Carolina. In any case, don't drink, bro. Drunkenness will not help in any way and will only aggravate the situation. Accept that you were married to a sociopath, a narcissist and an idiot. I believe her infertility is karma for past bad deeds. After all, she could not become a betrayer and a liar for no reason at all. No matter how much it hurts you now, think about the future. You're only 40. You can and should find a faithful and loving woman. And you can still be blessed with children with her. Your support and your best means of survival is your daughter. Together you are invincible. I wish you and your daughter health, peace of mind and prosperity. God help you. Your focus should be you and your daughter. Why would you want someone so callous back? She's toxic and good riddance. Your goal should be indifference. You don't have any kids with her, you already have a daughter who probably can't stand her now. She will possibly never have kids, not your problem. Try to get some IC for yourself and some counseling for your daughter if you think she needs it. Do you have family and friends that you can lean into for support? Do you have a sponsor? Lean into these people for support slash focus. Focus on this next new phase of your life. You just turned 40, you have a whole lot of living to do. Stay sober. Things will get better. I wish you all the best. Some will tell you that this is always who she was and she disguised it in her relationship with you. This may be true but what is also true is that neural pathways can be overwritten over time, especially after exposure to trauma such as repeated miscarriages. The sad fact is that the woman that you love no longer exists. Consider it in the same vein as a traumatic brain injury. The thoughts, feelings, passion and history you once shared are gone in a puff of smoke. The only thing that you can do at this point is grieve your loss and go on with your life. Block her, her family, her friends and everyone you shared in common across all media. You can and should mourn her for a period of time but you will come back stronger and better. Eat right, avoid alcohol and drugs and go to the gym. Start taking dancing lessons. Take up woodworking. Buy a mountain bike. Work on becoming the best version of you that you can conceive. It will get better. Never, 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 never look her up on social media. Do not paint shop. Mourn her death and move on. When you say fighting every day what are you talking about? Fighting to not relapse or fighting for her? If it's the former, hold on there. If it's the latter, walking away is not giving up, it's not you failing. She killed the relationship, acknowledge that and focus on your daughter and yourself. Stop being a crutch for her, she won't, isn't, there for you. You don't have to win her back. I don't think she really cares that she's lost your daughter's respect. I know it's tough but this wasn't even about the new guy. She wanted to end your marriage and she likely planned it for some time. Story 2 Just found this morning that my fiancé was cheating on me, with her boyfriend of six years of which I did not know the existence. Rant. So this is my first post so forgive any mistakes. I'll be vague with the dates. 
I, 25M, have been with this girl for a couple of years, and we got engaged at the beginning of the year with all her and my extended family. She always told me she had one boyfriend many years ago, and was single for a while before meeting me. She lives two hours away from me. I had no reason to doubt her and at first she gave me no reason to do so. A few months ago a guy, Guy1, wrote on Insta to me telling me about her past, and I asked for any proof and he told me to find them by myself. But after that he gave me a few names and an Insta ID, Guy2. I asked Guy2 if what Guy1 told me was true. He denied everything, and when I told my ex fiance she also denied it. For the last month I was always skeptical about her. But then I decided to trust her, and maybe that guy one was just trying to mess up my mind. And then this morning guy 2 contacted me with another ID and asked for my number. Then he told me everything. For how many years even before knowing me they were together, how many guys she had and then he sent me photos, videos and audios. I asked him for dates to make sure it was after we got engaged. Then he sent me a video and the screenshot of the date and time when he took the video. In the video she was without any clothes, and was using her phone. He also sent photos of her topless with the ring I've given her. I went to check the messages of that date with her, and at the exact time of the video, she was messaging me, while she was with Guy 2 in the hotel. After that I went out and called my friend and talked with him. He calmed me down and said to verify again that everything Guy2 sent me was true. So we double checked everything. And then I went home and stayed in my car for 3 hours waiting for my dad to come home from work. Meanwhile she called me, and we talked and then I said you know I'm happy today, I feel very lucky she asked me why and I told her to wait a few hours. Then I saw my dad and told him everything. He seemed calm at first. And we went inside and he told my mom, I didn't tell her anything before because she suffers from depression, and man I saw my mom and dad crying for the first time. They loved this girl, called her their second child, every time they met they used to give her gifts and money. Then my mom called her mom. And everything went down. Calls messages from her parents. She called me and I sent her every proof this guy too sent me, she denied everything totally trying to gaslight me. I told her to check the videos and photos ECC. And then her parents asked to talk with me and I said no. She still said she only loves me, will only marry me or she will never. Then I hung up and my parents took my phone and sent the proof to her parents. And no more calls. We were supposed to get married in December. I don't know why or for what reason this guy too contacted me now, but wanted to thank him, but he blocked me. Well now I'm in my bed and waiting for I don't know. Congratulations for bullet dodge bro, hurts but you will came better, you will see. Now make sure you get that ring back, sell it and take your parent to dinner with the money to celebrate your freedom of that narcissist cheater. Not only that, he sent me screenshots of their video chat where she was braless, and there was my ring so. Thank you by the way. Horrible, but you now see the real her. Better to be broken now than broken 10 years from now where she gets the cash and prizes for infidelity. Well I already took care of that, I'm an only child and my parents are immigrants. We saved money to build a business, since I don't want my dad to work heavy jobs, he did already everything he could for me, and early this year we bought three apartments and I paid extra money put them on my parents name, so if something happens, like a divorce, whoever she is wouldn't get anything, there aren't prenups here. That was Neo Matrix dodging bullets buddy. Good for you. I know both guys did you a favor but don't elevate them too much. They still cheated with a woman with a ring on and contacting you in front of them. Both of these guys are not good people, they are scum who did a good deed, one of them even dodged you for a while. Just forget about all three of them and move on with your life. The other two guys are not the problem. They did the right thing by contacting the op. They could have left it and enjoyed ops suffering, but they did not. Sure they had their own agendas, but Op's problem lies with his cheating ex-fiance. No one else. These guys were already known to her prior to Op. 
they might have not had any idea she was living a double life. Guy number two could be similarly devastated. If the ring is worth anything, tell her to return it. Have your parents pressure her parents if necessary. Mention that you might have to get a lawyer involved. Absolutely, she showed no respect towards you op, neither should you towards her. Go scorched earth, no one will blame you. And I recommend to go public with the info so she can't create a false narrative. We already know she is a psycho. Scorched earth is insufficient. Op, go full extinction level. While you may be curious, for your purposes, their motivations don't really matter provided the info is accurate, which it seems to be. When she said she only loves you either she's lying or this is how she treats the person she loves, neither is a good quality in a partner. Cancel any wedding plans you've made and don't fall for any fake promises or couples therapy bullshit. She did this after agreeing to marry you. This is as loyal as she's ever going to be and she failed miserably. It's time to end it. You may not want to advertise what happened but I wouldn't lie to anyone who asks. Thank you, already contacted my uncle in my home country to cancel everything. Story 3 My, 31M, GF, 25F, hooked up with two dudes while we were on a break. I have been torn on what to do. I would really appreciate advice. My head is a bit of a mess. So about three weeks ago I discovered that my GF slept with two different dudes on the same day. And then she came over and slept with me later that night. I found out the next day when I overheard her telling her best friend about it, when she didn't know I was listening. Technically we weren't together at the time. But she was acting like she really wanted to work it all out and it seemed like we were working towards fixing our issues. I know most people would be liked up that I'm out but I really cared about this girl and a part of me just really wanted to forget it and forgive her. But I have been struggling with it. I can't stop thinking about it and I just feel like it was too ducked up. Then there are times when I oscillate and I want to work it out. I'd man but it is definitely stressing me out. I know most of y'all will be like of course just break up and move on. My head is telling me to leave but my heart is not convinced. Like sometimes I feel as if I could just be like whatever duck those scrubs came back to me and she wants to be with me. I never cheated but I had made mistakes in the relationship as well. But the trust is definitely damaged. And now it's like I'm just gonna be stressed whenever she's out doing her thing and we're not together. Ok I guess it's like basically I know I should but I don't totally want to. Do I just need to man up? Update, thank you all for the advice. I appreciate you kind strangers. I think I just needed to talk it out with some more people to find clarity in my decision. It won't be easy but I need to move on. I am going to talk to her tomorrow. Please give any breakup advice. Bro she wanted the break so she could duck the two guys. Why would you stay for that? I don't believe it was that premeditated. But of course I have thought about it. She told me they just kind of happened but like, twice. I know dude I know. I'm just like why do I even care still like why can't I just be alright well duck this I'm out. Maybe I'm just too ducking nice. Aaron, as soon as someone says they need a break it's 99.99% .99 to duck someone. I don't believe in breaks for this reason and always would choose to just break up instead. To me a break doesn't mean you aren't exclusive anymore. It means you take some distance from each other to reevaluate your feelings, while still being exclusive. If I take a break from work it doesn't mean I sign a new contract elsewhere in the meantime. BTW a break means exactly that. You're not exclusive for a limited time. Ok but here's the thing about sleeping with people, there is so much time between saying hey you wanna have sex, and then doing it. Even if she didn't take a break just to have sex, she still took the time to contact two different guys, set up a time and place, travel there slash get picked up, and duck them. Two different men. In a day. That doesn't sound like an oopsie. It didn't just kind of happen. Respect yourself. Did you discuss whether hooking up with others is allowed? I mean either way, 
I'm sorry, someone who sleeps with two different guys before sleeping with you on the same night, and keeping it a secret, isn't in love with you. You're lying to yourself if you believe that. Even in open relationships partners communicate what is allowed and are transparent with each other about it. We never really discussed whether it was allowed but she had told me I'm not hooking up with other people and then days later this night happened. We hope that by sharing these stories with interested folks like you, we can help people recognize the signs of a relationship in trouble, and avoid so many of these heartbreaking situations yourselves. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 